Hi everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbook needs and more. Today we are continuing with our Minte. Um, oh my gosh, we're making so many products with this Minte, but I'm not going to be happy until I use every single stitch of it, as you guys know. So today we're going to make a little book with the journal cards. Remember we had that 12 by 12 sheet of paper and it has exactly three by four journal cards. So if you have purchased other, um, mm, my words are not coming, other paper lines, <laughs> if you have purchased other paper lines in the past and you have journal cards, this would be the perfect project to use these on. It's, it's very, very simple to do. Um, I did not invent this. It's, um, a lot of people have done something similar. Um, the only thing that I will tell you is you're going to need quite a bit of magnets in order to keep it shut because I want mine to open like a book and not have a ribbon closure. So because I want it to do that, I need to use a lot of magnets in this instance. So let's first talk about what you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need are 12 journal cards. You're actually only going to use... 10. I think you'll have some left. I believe we're going to only use 10. No, I think we're going to have just one left. I think we're going to use 11. But the page has 12 on it, so I cut out all 12. Okay, so here's all our beautiful journaling cards. They're gorgeous from this collection. I am in love 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 um i'm you know so you know how certain paper lines when you're done with it or close to being done with it you say oh i'm gonna really miss this paper that's how i feel about this paper because i love it so much and i am just in love with the shadow box that we made so if you missed that um, look for that video. This is so cute. Even my husband thought it was absolutely adorable and he just usually humors me <laughs> with my crafts. So anyway, you'll need 12 journaling cards. I think we'll be using just 11. Um, you're going to need two pieces of chipboard for the covers that are going to be three and a half by four and a half. You're going to need one sheet of eight and a half by 11, and that's going to be used to wrap the covers. Then we're going to need three strips of four and a quarter by 12. So they're four and a quarter wide by 12 long. And on each of these three strips, you are going to score at three and a quarter, six and a half, nine and three quarters, and ten and a quarter. Okay? And then you're going to need an extra piece. And... This may have to be adjusted, I don't know yet, but right now it's two and a half by four and a half. And we'll see as we build this book if we need to um, change that. Um, so we'll see. But let's, let's first start with um, our pages. You'll see here that when we score at ten and a quarter, we have this little flap and then we have all this excess here. I try to conserve as much of the paper as possible, but we still have this little excess piece and you're going to chop that off. So we're not going to need that piece. So I'm just chopping that piece off and I'm chopping it off of all three of them. Okay, so we got rid of that. Now, two of these pieces, we need this quarter strip on because we're going to connect them. So this is going to go like this. And then there's going to be another piece that we're going to connect because we're going to make it one long strip. So one of these pieces that has this quarter inch strip is going to be removed. So I'll remove it from this one. I kept this one a little wonky, but I am going to use my paper trimmer for this only because this has to be a little bit precise. Um, I can't even see that. Hold on. Let me put a little pencil mark. Let me put a little pencil mark where I'm cutting so I know what I'm doing here. Um, I can hardly see that. That's crazy. Let me put this light on maybe. Oh yeah. 
Ooh, much better. You know, the the light outside keeps kind of it's it's weird. It's it's a weird like it's an overcast day. It's very cold, so I have my robe on. Um, <laughs> so don't make fun of me, but I have my robe on because I'm cold. And um, but anyway, so let's connect our pieces. So we're just going to use our amazing score tape for this. And you can see this score tape does go a long way. We've used this in, in quite a bit of the projects and we still have a lot left. So just on those two, we're going to put that. Oh, ripped some of the paper off with that. That was crazy. All right. Now I just want to angle these a tiny bit just to make it easier to connect them. So I'm going to angle these a little bit just to make it easier for us to connect these pages together now some people will actually get out their um, score mat to help them to line it up perfectly I, I don't think we need to do that I think we just need to line it up but I am going to use my little my little glue trick with this little yoohoo glue i'm just going to put a little bit on top of that tape just to give us a little wiggle room when we're connecting these and you want to make sure that when you connect them you don't go over the score line very important because we need it to bend so don't go over the score line and did i no i did not okay all right so that's one sheet that's connected and now we'll connect this sheet. This looks still a little, let me just measure this. This should be three and a quarter. Let me just make sure my, yeah. I just wanted to make sure, because of the way I cut it, it looks weird because of where it was scored. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave that on the end in case I have to trim it. So I'm gonna just glue this part to, to the front here it doesn't matter in which sequence you do it just add a little bit of this glue i haven't tried this glue yet to to add my pictures or anything um but i think that it would probably do very well all right and again i'm just going to connect this so we have one long giant piece there we go okay and now you're going to see we're going to accordion fold them and I might have to cut that one yeah the object is to have it open like this so this is going to be glued to our chipboard cover and so I do have an extra piece here, which I'm not going to need because of how it, how it worked out. And rather than cut another strip, I'm going to just leave it like that. And I'm just going to cut this piece off. This piece that, um, so that we have an even amount. And you'll see what I mean in a minute once I cut this piece off. So you will have to cut one of these off of here. Like so. All right. And now what you'll see, and I may still have to trim it. I don't know. But now what you'll see is it, it sits like a book. Yeah, I do have to trim it a tiny bit. A little tiny bit so that so that it all matches okay so here we have this is going this back piece is going to be on the chipboard and then here's where we'll put all of our pictures and then this last piece is going to be on this chipboard 
okay so then it's going to open just like this like a book all right so now we have to figure out out of our journaling cards which one we would like for the cover and which one we would like for the back cover so i really am in love with this for the cover so i'm going to keep this one aside for the cover and then let me see what i want for the back cover i do like the tree the door wouldn't make sense I think I like the, I like that tree. Where'd it go? All right. So here's my tree and that's going to be the back cover. Okay. So now I'm going to put these in an order that I like and we're going to see what we, we're going to just glue these down. Every let's see. I have a nutcracker, but I like that one. Okay, let's put this guy here and this guy here. Okay, so you're actually going to have two left over. So I'll just put those to the side. And now let's glue these together. I'm going to use my art glitter glue for this. I think this will be good for this project. You could use tape if you wanted to, but I think the art glitter glue is going to be fine. And all we're doing is we're attaching this to our accordion strip. And we're just going to try to center it as best as we can. And once you put the first one down, the next ones that follow are easy because you can kind of match them up to the height of where you put them. So it'll, it'll be much easier once you lay one down. Okay. Let's see what I'm saying. So now I can actually line that up pretty good there's that let's do the next one and those are pretty on the back too but i like the pictures so we'll do it this way Okay, so moving along, we're going to take our little nutcracker, and this, this is a great way to make little mini books to give to people, and then you can, um, they're very fast and easy to produce, and if you have journaling cards, extra ones left over from a project, this is a great little book to make. I still have not decided yet what I'm going to do with the baby journaling cards from the 6x6. Six six. So, I have not forgotten about those. I just don't know yet what I exactly want to do with them. So, we'll see. We'll be doing it together. So, whatever I decide to do, you'll be, you'll be part of. Let's just fold this up a little bit, make it easier so that we can just get these all done. This paper, don't forget to, I keep forgetting to say that I have a design team code. It's Michelle with two L's, DT, and that gets you 15% off of your purchase. So, so generous of May. So generous of her to do that because, you know, small businesses just starting out, you know, a huge overhead with the storefront and yet she still makes a, 
it possible to have a code and um, so there okay so this is what our book is going to look like when we open the pages it's so pretty okay so now let's just set that to the side and let's work on our chipboard all right so we use that here's our eight and a half by eleven piece we know about that we know about the other pieces this is our strip all right so for the chipboard because it's going to be wrapped use the yoohoo it's going to be wrapped so it's not really going to come up you know what i'm saying so let's try it all right so i'm just going to put one here and then i'm going to put the other one closer to the other side so that I have enough space to um, wrap it and I did not have any scraps so that were big enough to wrap these covers but I have been using so many scraps guys so many little pieces here and there with everything which is wonderful. Like when we did that shadow box, I didn't have to cut into any piece of paper. I had all those from all the previous projects. That's why I say, don't throw them out. I'm just going to cut here in the middle. And then I'm going to cut here. Okay. Cut here. I'm going to even this out. Now, the last time I wrapped the cover, I was not completely thrilled with it. I, I didn't leave enough space here in this section. So I'm going to be mindful of that and give it more of a space so that I could tuck it better. So if you're wondering why I'm doing that, that's why. Okay, that's one. And then here we go. All right. Okay. Now we're going to put some score tape on these. And you can cut it, but you know what I'm finding when I cut the score tape? Um, after a while, it really junks up my scissors. So then I have to really clean my scissors. Well, my husband has to really clean my scissors good. So I think ripping it is okay too. I mean, I don't like when I, how I've been using it. And then having that problem so with my scissors after the fact i think if i had those tim holt scissors i'd probably be better off because they have those um i think they're a little bit more robust i don't have those scissors but you might and you might like them to use to cut this tape Some people use a little acrylic block. I've seen um, people use that to just kind of hold it down in place. I think just using my hands is fine. Excuse my nails. They look terrible. I haven't had a chance to do them. All right. Okay. So there we go. So... Now what I like to do is just kind of prep these like that, just to give them a little prep so that they're not in shock when we start folding them over. And 
end, I like to fold over my longer strips first. And I do use a little, little pokey tool for this because it's hard for me to get these strips off. So we'll do the longer one first. Nice. Very nice. And you can take your bone folder to burnish it if you would like. And we'll do this side. I kind of had to overlap the tape here, so it's going to be a little bit of a... Well, not a problem, but just a little bit weird. Okay. I'm going to bring this over. And we can burnish that. All right. Now, let me get my little... I like to use this kind of a... This is a Stampin' Up! I like to use this to push in these edges. So I'm pushing that edge so that it has a nice, so it looks good when I um, fold this over. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just pushing in that edge. That little excess. And then. Let me go to flip it over. I'm just flipping it over like that. <laughs> Makes it easier. See, it's much nicer because I left extra space there. So I'm just going to poke in your edges where your corner is mitered. And then take off our tape. Take off our tape here. And I'm going to just flip it over like I did before. Now we have a really nice covered cover, front or back. We can decide what we want it to be later. Get rid of some of this garbage. I will not get rid of these pieces because we never know what we're gonna what we're gonna do with those. So is everybody's Christmas trees up? If you celebrate Christmas, I would love to know. I would love for you to comment. You know, guys, um, a lot of times people ask me, how do we support may how can we support her um her business especially if we don't have a lot of money right now and we can't pay you know we can't buy a lot of things i'll tell you how you can support her like subscribe share and comment because youtube looks at all of that and so if you can if you have time Put a comment out there. It doesn't take that long, but it really does help her. Because um, I know around the holidays, sometimes it's hard to, to think of crafting. And, you know, if you're not like a lot, look, a lot of people don't like getting these kind of gifts. I love getting homemade gifts, but there's some people that don't. So a lot of you might not be buying craft supplies during the holiday season because you're buying gifts. Again, we're going to push this in nicely. And push this side in nicely. You know how I say night? I say nicely. So I better behave. Um, so yeah, that's it. Th those are just very simple ways that you can help out her channel and her business. So keep that in mind, guys, um, as, as a way to help her. Yeah, she just, she has uh, this, you guys all know May. She has a heart of gold. 
and she is trying so hard to bring you guys the best of the best and the best of the best costs a lot of money i mean when you're when you're buying paper from poland and having to ship it from poland i mean i just i i just see how much it is to ship out little tiny things to my aunt in delaware and it's like crazy i can't imagine trying to to ship out to people you know to when you're buying tons and tons of paper and how heavy it is and it's coming you know from another country how much it is it's got to be insanely expensive okay so now we're going to move on to the magnets let me first cover my art glitter glue i really should set up my a device and i'm not going to say her name to remind me to cover my glue <laughs> because i always forget and then i wonder why it doesn't work properly all right i got everything sticking to my magnets here it's sticking to my stapler all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a magnet out on top of here on the front. So. And you're going to see why we're going to need a lot of magnets in this project because the paper is so thick. Now, I don't even know if this is going to find its way to the magnet. Did it find its way? Yeah. There we go. But this paper is so thick. So now what I'm going to do is the next page. How am I going to do this? I'm going to put a magnet here. And I'm just putting them down with tape. And I'm going to flip a page and put another magnet. Because I want this to stay shut. I'm going to flip this. magnet and then here so see how nice now it is it's staying really closed nice and once we glue it will even be better okay so I'm happy with that so we used how many magnets do we use one two three four five five magnets all right now we have to glue this shut you don't want to glue how do i explain this to you in a way that you will understand when you're gluing um you don't want to glue close to the score line and you don't want to glue all the way around because you want to, this to have a little bit of give for when you're opening it as a book. Now I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this because this I found to be the best. But when you see where I glue it, you'll understand exactly what I mean. I'm going to wait for it to come down. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> and I did see your, I am trying to respond to your comments when I see them. I thank you so much for leaving them. It makes me so happy to see such wonderful comments. I really appreciate all of you guys so much. I really do. Uh, I never thought I would be back to doing this. Like I said, I would only ever do this for one person <laughs> and I kept my word. Um, but 
yes i i'm just so happy that you guys are i think i'm gonna have to shake it a little bit so see i'm just kind of making like a square within it and then i'm going to take of course my tape off and then i'm going to seal that Oops. Do it again. I'm just going to keep doing this until my book is shut. There we go. Take my tape off. Come on. And then I'll shut that page. And do it again. And I feel like the Fabri-Tac works the best on this. I really do. Okay. Take the tape off. And there we have it. Okay. Now we're going to glue. We'll make sure we have the right order. And we're going to glue one to our back cover and one to our front cover. Now, the thing that you want to do is when you're gluing it to your cover is you want to put it as far to the edge of where your spine is. So here's the cover. Normally we would center something in the corner. Okay. We're not going to do that with this. We're going to slide it all the way to the edge. So you're going to have more of an overhang over here, but that's how we want this book to be for our spine. So don't glue it in the center. Glue it as close as you can to that edge, okay, of where your spine would be. So, and we're going to use, uh, we're going to cover this completely now because this is going to go into the actual book. Why am I struggling when I have my thing right here? Oh, of course it's stuck to my magnets. <laughs> Little pokey tool. Also, if you are not a member of the Crafting on a Budget Facebook group, I would highly recommend it. There are so many, so many talented people in that group. And the projects that everybody is posting, it's so inspirational. I go on there and I'm like blown away by what people are, are posting. It's just so beautiful all right so this is my back and again i'm gonna bring it close to the end of my spine and with the fabric tack you have a little wiggle room so that's good because i just want to make sure i have space up and down there we go Okay, and then we're going to take this tape off. I'm going to do this. And I'm being generous on this glue because this is the covers. So why not? Why not be a little bit generous? Okay, and then the next cover is easier to line up because you're you're actually like kind of already have it lined up on the bottom. So it's easier to, much easier to line up. And I just want to make sure I'm up enough, over enough. Yes. Not crooked. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to give it a few seconds to set up, but this is what it looks like now. When you open up your book, it's so cute. I might stick a little bit of art glitter glue there. I see the tape wasn't maybe completely over. It's not really going to bother me, but, but it might. 
So in case it does, I'll just stick a little bit of glue under there. It's taped down. It's not even coming up. So maybe I don't have to worry about it. All right. So now we have to put our covers on. But before we put our covers on, we want to cover up that spine. And this is where that piece comes in that I said was two and a half um, by... No, that's not the right piece. Where is my piece? Oh, here it is. <laughs> the two and a half by four and a half piece. This is going to go and wrap around the book just to kind of cover that spine. So as you could see, I kind of just placed it how I think it should go around. And I think the two and a half gives us, the width gives us a, a nice, nice, um, crisp little, what would you call that, spine. So now that I've wrapped it around, I'm going to put score tape on either side. Let me cover my Fabri-Tac. I'm going to put score tape on either side so that I can get this on and make sure you're putting it on the right way because I put it on the wrong way once and I went to open the book and I was like oh did that wrong did that wrong did not like it all right so let's see so I'm gonna put some score tape I'll probably put a couple of those maybe three if I could fit three on each side I will being careful not to go over the spine Where I, had, where I made the little indentation for the spine. All right. I'm going to put some tape here. Put some tape here. And put some tape here. There we go. All right. So believe it or not, our book is almost done, except for the covers. All right. So let's take off the tape. Put that on there. And you have no idea how happy I am that I have this school tape back. I keep telling May, thank you so much. I mean, I have a ton of paper, but I'm so excited about this score tape. Okay. Just kind of seeing where I wanted it to go before. Slipping my book in there. pushing that down and we are going to give this a nice burnish for our book and then we'll take the rest of the tape off so now we have a covered spine which I'm so happy about go around and we'll burnish this side and this doesn't matter if it's off a little bit, like crooked or anything, because we are going to cover it. Remember, we're going to be covering it. Now, I'm thinking I might want to do double mat on the, on the covers. So let me see what we have left. But look at the book, guys. It's so cute. And because we put all those magnets in there, we don't have a problem with having to put any kind of a tie in place, which I like. All right, I have literally scraps, as you can see. Um, let me see. I have a bigger one here. I'm trying to grab it. Um, and I thought I had. I thought I had. 
pretty one. You do. Okay. All right. So we know that these are three and a half by four and a half, and our cards are three by four. So maybe three and an eighth by. Hmm. I think I'm just going to mark it where I think I would like it. Whoa, that pencil's not working good. Um, and then I'll measure it once I'm done. But I sometimes it's easier to mark it with your pencil so that you can see exactly, you know, where you want it. Because sometimes your measurements could be a little off. So I want that there. And then I want this here. All right, so let's see. I'm going to get my paper cutter, and I'll tell you where that puts us. That puts us at three and three eighths. Okay, so three and three eighths by three and three eighths by four and a quarter. Is that going to be enough? Let me just, let me just recheck. So that goes like that. No, I think I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Tiny pinch. Let's see where that gets me. Whoop, wrong way. Where's my, where, I can't see my pencil marks now. Okay, there it is. Okay, so yeah, by four and three eighths. Okay, so three and three eighths by four and three eighths. So that will go there. So let's take our other one. So we said, And three eighths. So three and one through three. Three and three eighths by four and one two three eighths. Okay, and this will go on the back, and then we'll put our pictures. Now I think the art glitter glue will be fine for this, so we'll use that one. I just think it needed a little matting, guys. Um, again, that's just me personally. You could just stick your 3 by 4 card on it and call it a day. But, I don't know. I like to... I like to have a couple mats. What we could do... See, I'm, I'm going to be changing it on you guys, and I hate to change what I'm thinking mid-project. So let me get glue these on first, and then, then I'll tell you what I'm thinking. But I don't even know how it would be, to be honest. I don't know. Because we probably should have... Well, let's just see. Let me just see what I'm thinking. I'll show you what I'm thinking, and then... We'll move from there. Oh, oh, I like that. Um, I did have, yeah, but not the ones that I wanted. I did have, I had these left. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute? Let me score this. I know, guys. I know. Say it. Always changing up the program here. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. I definitely want this on the front. If you open it like that, and then like that, 
and then put it here. I'm wondering if I put a magnet here and a magnet here, and then we have a little, wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I like that idea just for the front not for I'm not gonna do it for the back but for the front I think it would look really cute oh my gosh my magnets are stuck to everything okay I know guys say it Right away, she changes everything. We were moving along. This should have been taken a very quick amount of time, and now she's she's got to make it difficult. But you guys know, I love anything little. I don't know what it is. I love little miniature books. I, I just, I love anything tiny. So, you know that I'm just going to love this. That's why I'm debating on whether to do a little tiny book with the other one or something else. You just have to wait and see. Okay. So now I'm going to put this on carefully. Make sure it's centered. What's happening here? There we go. And then this is going to go here. Oh, I didn't can't account for that magnet being there. There's another magnet under there. So we got to really glue this down good. In fact, I'm probably going to use a lot of score tape for this because don't forget there's more magnets under here. And had I thought about it in my haste, I'm just removing my pencil. Had I thought about it, I would have thought, oh, I could already, already utilize that other magnet there, but that's okay. That's quite okay. So I am going to use a lot of tape because this magnet is going to want to go to the other magnet that's underneath there. And I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to do it my way. I'm using a lot of tape on this. And that's the reason why. That's why I always say watch before you do the project because you might decide, oh, I could have used that other magnet, which I was not thinking, but that's okay. I was thinking more that I wanted the front to stick, but that's okay. This is when this, this tape really works. And guys, I know I keep talking about this tape and you're probably like, okay, we're sick of hearing about the tape, but I want you to have the best results possible. And when you are trying to get the best results possible, you need a good tape. And this is a great tape. And you will be very disappointed if you use a different tape. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Cute. Now let's put our back piece on, which was this one. I did notice there was a little overlap on this one. I must not have cut that perfect. So we'll fix that. And then I might use my bow punch. I'm not sure yet, guys. I was thinking maybe a bow on the front, but we'll see. 
might be overkill. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like having the border around it. I think the three by four just by itself, there'd be way too much black. I was thinking of putting a little bow there. Now I have, I hate to use, let me preface this by saying this. I hate to use something that is not readily available because then you guys say, oh, that would be great if I had that punch. And I feel bad when I use something that you can't always find. But you may be able to find it on eBay. I will tell you that I it took me forever to find this punch. And when it came up on eBay, I scooped it up so fast, I didn't even ask David. <laughs> just bought it <laughs> I then I told him after the fact if I could find it it's a great punch it's an old punch um to Martha Stewart bow punch I even wrote to Martha Stewart to ask her to bring it back um she didn't <laughs> she she didn't she didn't even respond to me um but it's a great punch but like I said, I, I really hate to use things that are not readily accessible to you. It's a Stampin' Up! Punch. I don't even know if it has a number to it. But this is what it looks like. And it is a bow punch. And like I said, I'm sorry I'm using a punch that I don't know if you'll be able to get. But with all of the 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 dyes that are out there and you know all that kind of stuff i i'm thinking that i'm i'm thinking that you might be able to you might already have a die that does this wow i will give this mint tape paper Two of these. I just really like this punch, and when you have problems with your hands, you really need a good punch. But it's called the Stampin' Up Extra Large Bow Punch, some, something like that. The wording is like large, extra large, something. Um, but I think that you will like it if you can find it. And I'm like I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm using a punch that you can't find. Because I hate when people do that. But I really want to use a bow. Because everything is better with a bow, as you know. Um, so I apologize. And I hope that you find it. But with all the dyes that are out now, you probably already have something. You know, I don't have a huge collection of dyes. I don't have, you know, that's just not my... I just don't have it, you know. So, but this punch, I really, really like. And I'm just putting it together now there is a middle strip that you can wrap around it but I'm going to put one of those rhinestones in it so I'm not going to need that metal strip in case you're wondering so it's like it makes two two of the ribbon part and then you have you have to punch it twice because you need two tails So it kind of goes all together. So like I would use a little piece of score tape and then it will connect everything in place. Okay, so there's my tails. And then oh, you can't hardly see, I'm sorry. And then here I'm going to put my bow one half of my bow and go put the other half of my bow 
And then, like I said, there is that, this piece that punches out with it that you can put around it. Why does that bow look off to me? Hmm. Doesn't look right to me. I know it is, but it doesn't look right for some reason. I was thinking of putting it right up there. And let me see. Let me go get my. I lo I completely lost my little shiny AB crystals. Luckily, I have a spare pack because I have no idea where they went to from the last time we crafted. <laughs> Guys, I literally thought this was going to be like a 20 minute video. That's what I thought. <laughs> Think again. Let me see. Put this one in the center and see if it... Seems like an awful lot of space there and I don't know why. I don't remember it having that much space. But I did it just how you're supposed to. So, I don't know. So I was thinking of just putting that there on the top. And I will use score tape for that. And then I did want to see if we could put maybe a thin strip on the spine. This doesn't look right to me. This looks like too, too long. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. It looks off to me. And I don't know why. But that is the right way to do it. And so we are going to stick that down. I'm going to just try to center this. There we go. So cute. Oh my gosh. Look at how it absorbs. And then I thought maybe we should put a little thin strip. This would have to be cut down a little bit more. But yeah, let's put a little thin strip on the spine just to really jazz it up. Oh gosh, guys, how am I going to cut this? Uh, mm. This is going to move every time I try to cut it. I wonder if I can, well, first of all, we know it's four and a half, so let's do the four and a half. I wonder if I can just... Make some kind of a not crooked strip. Not too bad. A little got a little bit off there. Hmm. Yeah, I got a lot off. Better. Let's see. Let's see how that would look. It might even still have to be smaller. Oh. Oh, my word. No, I don't think it has to be smaller. I think it's good. I need to cut a tiny pinch off. Let's use our art glitter glue. Our little 
book. There. Nice little spine. I like that. Look at. I'm not happy with this bow, and I don't know why. It's driving me crazy. So if you see it in another another video, I may have changed it because for some reason I'm not thinking that looks right. Even though I know that's how it's supposed to go. But so here we go. We have this. It opens. And then we open this. And everything is nice and magnetized. So none of our pages are flopping all over the place. And we have a cute little book. I think it's adorable. I hope that you guys make them. Think of you, all the three by four cards that you probably have laying around from all kinds of uh, other stash and um, use it to make this. Um, this is not the kind of book that you'd want to add like pockets and stuff to um, only because it gets heavier and then you'd have to add more magnets. So just letting you know that. But I do like this front part. I love that. I just think that is so cute. I wish I had the heart. I know I have a heart, but I don't know if I have, if it's the same size. I would have put it on a pop dot. Let's see. Is this the size? Ah, yes it is. I put that on a little pop dot. this little pop dot just to give it a little more dimension and put the heart on top of the heart and we'll call it a day call it a day I apologize for this taking so long this is what happens when you stop and think oh maybe we should add this oh this would be a good idea there. Oh, I love that. Okay. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. All right, guys. So there you have it. Our little three by four Minte mini album. I hope you enjoyed making this with me. I really had fun designing this and um, I'm having fun with all of the Minte projects. So I hope you guys are too. And you know what I will say, stay safe, be well, God bless you all, and bye for now.